Alright, so I played a game a while ago called Magician's Workshop. It's a very interesting, well done, badly resolved game. Sadly, an ending is a pretty major part of it all, so it's a bit of a pickle to say if I do recommend it. It's solid in some parts and, I, and quite flawed in others. What is it about? A magician's workshop in Florence in 1512. Part history, part made up. It blends real facts and magical aspects. The vast majority of it is all about managing the work and the day-to-day -day aspects of working in a workshop. Also, the master is killed and as such we are as a void for successor. Free rivals or possibly collaborators looking for the leading position. All the while politics and some mythical, mystical stuff happens in the background. What did I like? What did I like? God, why did I struggle to say that so much? The world. It's a real history place with characters like Machiavelli living, living in it. Which is all interesting, but what is so great is adding magic into all of it. Not the fireball throwing kind, but the alchemy and animation kind. The water turning into wine, statues dancing, mind reading, all of it is blended into the art and the engineering in a very peculiar and innovative way. I can't think of any other world really using magic in such an interesting way. Almost making it seem like maybe, just maybe, be people back then did do and know more than they think. Also, I've liked the fact that it's impossible to do everything. Generally, I'd frown on, on it in games, but in these games it's all about choices. You read and choose what the role you'd play. So something must be locked, something must be closed off and impossible to do. In this particular one I'm talking about the commissions. There are a total of six, which are revealed, and at the best the player can do three. And the chances are that it's actually just two, because it ties into the fresco making time as well. At least in my playthrough. So there needs to be some difficult choices as to who gets screwed. I just wish there was a, a more clear explanation how many days were left. But about complaints later. Aside from that, the cast is rich. There are quite a few characters, and while not all of them are in the spotlight, and affect things in a major way, it feels like a great setup for another story, maybe even a series of books, if this being something like a side story with just a glimpse, a different point of view. So what did I dislike? For one, the simplest thing to complain about is bugs. Easiest example to come to mind is meeting a police officer. I choose to hang out with one other character at night in the bar, and the problem is that there is a curfew. So a cop catches us. I selected Soothsane to peer into his secrets and use it to get out of a ticket. It worked. Twice. I assume it's a failure of writing down the program right. So the choice of if skill is and Soothsane too high, do this, and then without a break tackled on if skill and Soothsane, Soothsane is mediocre, do that. Problem is that it selected the result of the second one while showing both. So even if I aced the check, it still didn't work. Something similar happened when I've gotten a choice to turn water into honey. With really high skills, somehow I'm, it still partially failed. It's a bit of a mess with skill checks. Two is a bit more difficult to explain, so I'll just spoil the ending and the major plot point. Spoilers. Easier with examples. At every point in the game, if there was a choice to select, which neither sucks up to nobility nor the church, and said chooses the people, I did that. If there was a choice to be nice to rival apprentices, I did that. At no point did I select any way they would be screwed. In addition, the game explicitly says, there is one more day before the deadline, and then says that there is no time to finish off the commissions. Meanwhile, that's just a blatant lie. It says that there is time for two more sessions of work on the commissions, or if Fresco is abandoned, lies. Anyway, with that in mind, the ending was nobody stood up for me. Apprentices, who voted 20 out of 36 for me, with 16 divided evenly between the other two, refused to voice that. When I selected to make my own workshop, my money randomly disappeared before I actually spent uh, spent it on a workshop. And the machine. I won't explain what it is, but it is a major plot point. I chose to destroy it with the help of the people, staying true to my character to rally them. They all left, i.e. one of the two things happened, my rep wasn't high enough, then I chose the people every single time I could. Or I chose the wrong things, which is also wrong, because I specifically consulted with stats, and what would have been the right choice for them, i.e. being stubborn with high stubborn stat. <sighs> Basically, whenever there was a skill check, it failed one time out of about five, 
maybe it was just worded wrong, maybe I misunderstood something, but that was infuriating. It felt like failing, not because I did something wrong, but because the game itself lies. <sighs> also, ignoring all that, the end in itself is about who gets the workshop. Also, who happens... what happens to the machine and Machiavelli. That's it. No words of what happens to the mom. To the mom? Not... no secrets revealed. The workshop after player left. His new workshop, other characters, like Dangerous. God, that's a stupid name. Maybe I'm just pronouncing it wrong. Nothing about what commissions do, if anything, to show what those choices mattered. I can probably think of something else, but there's just as what the ending sucks. Flat out, I'm not going to be subtle here. In addition, like I've said, characters frequently appear and disappear right away. A great example being Henrik of Congo. I have no idea who that is. After finishing the game, that is. He appeared once, get comforted when I have shown him his dad, and then gone forever until the ending where he's upset I wasn't able to complete what pretty much is centuries ahead of its time. He's expecting the player to be right goddamn brothers. Same thing with almost all characters with long names. Appear, say a thing, gone. I frequently fail to recall who was who when they mentioned were mentioned in the conversation sometimes. That felt like something of a setup for another story, or worse yet, an expectation from people to just know this stuff because there's a real history there. Hell, I don't know that. Hell, I'm pretty sure history majors here wouldn't know that. It's common to refer to Mike Machiavelli, but aside from that, I doubt most people are familiar with any of these people. So it flies over my head often. <sighs> In addition, I specifically point out the relationship with fellow people vying for control of the workshop. Fiamenta and Piero. I repeat, I always went for choices which benefited the workshop, which helped everyone work as a team. There were plenty of times I could have selected something which would have screwed either of them over. I avoided those entirely. And then, Piero suddenly turns hostile, sabotages my fresco, something done for the people, i.e. he does, does something that would screw people's public perception of a workshop, and then works on what is pretty much a global spying tool for the devil. Of all fucking people. Out of nowhere. He's nice, kind, helpful and friendly. And then, let's strike a bargain of Satan, blood, suffering, <laughs> I'm Piero, bitches. Oh, and Fiamant is also there. That's how much she actually does. Yeah. Anyway, the game also gives an impression that this, that it would be three groups working on commissions. So I chose the pen, which always writes the truth and beauty, a vault which can only be opened by one person, and a purse which will only bribe people who won't betray the briber, briber, whatever. All of them were done by me and my team. Also while working on the sabotage fresco. Okay, so. What the fuck are they doing exactly? Like, for real. Okay, Piero is busy sucking up to Lucifer. But, Fiamenta? What's she doing that, that whole time? I was enraged by that. I, ju I just wanted to do another playthrough. Explicitly to spike Piero. Do whatever I could to make sure he gets his comeuppance. But I decided against it. With how badly the engine was as is, it's clear none of that will really work out the way I hope. So I admit, I enjoy this quite a bit, but... I've also hadn't been this pissed off by choice of serious games in a while. The only one which had me this angry is The Night Road. But for a completely different reason. Regardless, it is flawed, messy and quite fascinating. A strange ride, to be sure. 